Okay, so this is our what you call it? Restaurant movie review? Yeah, restaurant movie yeah. review. So tonight is November seventh. It was the sixth when we went. Oh out, yeah, though. well November sixth. And we have date night every Saturday. I think we said that in the video already. Yes. We was gonna go to the state fair, but we just not gonna go to that. <laughs> so <laughs> we went to Outback. If you don't have an Outback, get one. Where you are, then find one. If you don't have an Outback where you are, move. You should move. You really are key, so. But don't take that literally. But yeah, you should move. If you're sitting there and like, what's Outback? You should move. I think it's if you're, Outback Steakhouse. Yeah, Outback Steakhouse. Uh. You, could, <laughs> you could be 13 if you're watching these videos. And if you don't have an Outback Steakhouse, tell your mommy and daddy that you want to go live with your auntie or your grandma or your uncle that has an Outback Steakhouse near their home. So we got... um. <laughs> Let me see. Stars, we got that bread. The bread is pumpernickel bread, and it comes with butter. We're fat asses, if you didn't know. Y'all think we mean the fat asses, but we are fat asses. I never thought I would eat black bread. She's brown. Brown bread. Bread is brown, but that's this is like a oh, chocolate brown. brown. Yeah. But the reason why, I mean, come on, you have to taste different things and. You won't know if you like something unless you taste it. True. So I tasted the bread and it's delish. Then it's we got delish. <laughs> we got Taz crawfish, which she's not a big crawfish eater, but she liked it. I don't it think it's good. something she's gonna get. Like I don't think she's gonna be like, ooh, next time we go, let's get the Taz crawfish. No, but it was shockingly better than I thought it would be. It was really good. It didn't have a real seafood taste, and I, I really hate seafood, and it didn't really taste like But to me, crawfish seafood. don't really have a seafood seafood taste like fish and shrimp and... Or calamari. Calamari. I tried calamari It's just its once. own taste. Yeah. It was good. And we had Caesar's... Caesar. Caesar's. Somebody in the Caesar movie had salad. a seizure, I think. <laughs> stating. I'm not sure, but something about a seizure. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> We, and then, okay, well, she had a, I don't know what you had. I had a, we had Caesar salad, both of us. I had a New York strip steak, 13 ounce, because I am a diehard, red-blooded American who loves beef. And any chance I get, I will order steak. I love steak. And I had a Outback special, which was a 9 ounce sirloin, because I don't, I feel like, I'm good. I'm not, I don't want no big ass piece of steak because I know I'm not going to finish it and I'm not going to want to just bring all of that home so I just got a little nine ounce I ain't even finished it because I pigged out on the crawfish and the I salad. know I got like more and than half bread. of my steak left I'm going to fuck that shit up tomorrow so yeah <laughs> try that that is good um <clears throat> now awesome. the movie Oh my god. I don't we're not gonna do a review on the movie because we're not gonna speak about the movie. Movie was good. It was a real good movie. But um we couldn't say the title. No. Okay. Well, I guess I'll put it right here in the video somewhere. Yeah. The movie was good. It was like the first one. Right. And it, it ended like the first one. It's not something I would own. Nope, I don't want it in my house. And it's not something I would like to see again. Never. I don't even know why it was my bright, stupid fucking idea to go see this part two of this movie when I know part one almost made me shit a brick because it's that bullshit. Honestly, it's that fucking bullshit. I don't know why I do it to myself. You go see a scary movie and you be like, man, this shit is awesome. Go see a scary movie, this shit gonna be interesting. As soon as you go home, like, man, what the fuck? As soon as the movie go off, you be like, should did that shit. First scary part, you be like, man, fuck. Should have want to see Megamind. Should have go see a cartoon movie. For real. 
That's all we could say, right? Really. That's all I could say for that. I ain't saying that. I ain't saying that. I ain't saying that. I yeah, try out back if you haven't. Don't see the movie. And <laughs> if you fine. wanna if you wanna have like three strokes and a couple of heart attacks and not sleep at night, go see the movie. Go go ahead, go see the movie. We'll put the name in the movie. But if you wanna sleep peacefully at night, like you did before you saw the movie, or if you don't wanna check in the closet or behind shower curtains or Turn on all the lights in your house. And me, I'm a juice drinker in the middle of the night. So my whole jug of juice is going to be next to the bed. Yes. Because I refuse to walk out of the room in the dark to go to the kitchen like I normally do. Drink some juice. Like we could do. We could, you know, you could have did that yesterday. Yeah. I could have did that tonight if we didn't go. Right. We went to stay fair. You could have did that tonight. If we would have saw Megamind off of Colored Girls. You know, you could have went and got you some juice in the middle of the night, all the lights out, but uh-uh. And I was just telling my manager, she asked me, did I see it? And I said, no. And she said she was going tonight with her little boy and her little boy friends. Her little boy and her boyfriends? Friends. Oh. It's a little boy. I know. And I was like, no. I ain't seeing that shit. You ain't gonna catch me dead enough. Mm. Seen that shit. Let me go to sleep. <laughs> Try. Holla for a dollar. Holla, holla. Lord, Lord drinks for a dollar. dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs>